Welcome to the quick start tutorial for managed Kubernetes. Today, we're going to deploy a containerized application. First, we'll need to enable the Kubernetes Engine API on our project. In the navigation menu, click on API and Services, and then click Enable APIs and Services. Here, search for Kubernetes Engine and select it from the results. On the Kubernetes Engine API page, click Enable to enable it on the project. Next, let's activate the Cloud Shell in our console where we'll run our commands. Once we're here, we can specify the default zone that we want the gcloud and kubectl commands to use. Type gcloud config set compute zone followed by a zone. For this demonstration, let's use US East 1. With our default zone set, let's create a Kubernetes cluster. A cluster consists of at least one cluster master and multiple worker machines called nodes. These nodes are compute engine VMs that run the Kubernetes processes. An application is deployed to a cluster and runs on its nodes. Enter the command gcloud container clusters create and a cluster name. Once our cluster is created, we'll need authentication credentials to interact with it. We'll get that with gcloud container clusters get credentials followed by the cluster name. The get credentials subcommand will configure kubectl, the command line interface for running commands against Kubernetes clusters to use a cluster we just created in any subsequent commands. Now it's time to deploy a containerized application to our cluster. Type kubectl create deployment and a name for our deployment. Let's go with hello server. We've provided a sample web application called hello app. We can specify its Google container registry URL with the dash dash image tag. Our application is deployed but if we want to see what it looks like, we'll need to expose it to the internet by creating a Kubernetes service. Type kubectl expose deployment followed by our deployment name, hello server. We'll specify a type, load balancer, a port, 80, and a target port, 8080. This means that the load balancer will initialize the public port 80 to the internet and route traffic to port 8080 of the application. After a few minutes, the load balancer should be all set up and have an assigned external IP address. kubectl get service followed by our deployment name will show us the IP address we'll use to access our application. Enter that IP address in a new tab or window. And there you have it. We've just deployed a containerized web application to Kubernetes.